you spend years planning how to get things all around the world and cobble pieces and parts together from different countries, from people that speak different languages. And then everybody delivers everything to the site, assuming that this last couple thousand feet from the truck to where it's going to live forever is pretty easy. And of course, there are just as many steps in acrobatics that have to happen here as shipping around the world. Every single piece of the facade of this building is serial numbers and organization and logistics to the same degree that car companies build cars. It is that degree of supply chain management and logistical planning. At 111 West 57th Street, it was very important that this building felt like a New York building. In order to go forward, we had to go back and looking at traditional materials like bronze and terracotta and taking that DNA and adapting it into this beautiful shape. We take the materials that belong on a building like this and clad them to a completely modern curtain wall system. We have a couple different components coming from all over the world. All these components come together and they get shipped to a holding facility in California. It's about a 10-day process to get them from California to here. What we did with the terracotta was not only did we vary the shapes of it as it goes up the length of the skyscraper, we actually used 26 different shapes of terracotta to give this kind of sensuous movement to the facade. But there are also six variations of the color of the terracotta in itself. So there's right there a ton of permutations. You know, if you break a tile, you can't just replace this tile with that same shape. It has to be the same shape and the same color. It makes it that much more critical that nothing gets broken or damaged. The current wall manufacturers make these custom crates, and those are called bunks. There's actually, for the terracotta, there's like rubber stoppers that go in every single joint. So we've had very minimal breakage for you know, such a precious material to get here. The debunking is like getting the panels out and ready to go. You get them on dollies and get them prepped to go out on the building. fly out a panel, that's when we're actually taking a panel and getting it on the hook from the crane and getting it out on the building. Our installation method is pretty custom. Our panels are so large, we have double tier stages. So we have an upper tier and a lower tier. You have the guys that are on the floor that are working with the panels still inside the building. You have the guys operating the crane that are dropping down the crane hook to fly the panel out. It goes up to where it's going to be set on the building, and then there's two sets of swing stage on top of one another. There's guys on both of those stages. It's not a direct motion, right? You have to, it has to change hands several times and travel. It's remarkable how the building almost dissipates into the clouds. Uh, it's, I can't think of any other building that really does that. And I don't think anyone's really going to understand it until they see it. My favorite Michael Stern quote of the entire year is, no one will believe this building is real even after it's built. And that, to me, is about the best compliment a client could ever give a designer. <laughs>